Somebody raised the question with me yesterday about this not impressive slate of Week 18 games because of the lack of real consequences. Well, is that proof there shouldn't be more games? You're always going to have this when you get to the end of the season. We had it when there were 16 games, and I suspect we had it when there were 14 games. You have enough separation. You have spots clenched. You get to the point where that last week doesn't mean anything. I think that's always going to be the case. The last week has a chance of not meaning a whole lot for a lot of the teams. And if you had more games, not that I'm saying there should be more games, that doesn't mean the last two weeks or three weeks are going to be meaningless. You're still going to have stuff that comes down to the last week. Period. Now, the fact that there's two extra playoff spots helps. That that keeps teams alive longer. Yes, it if does. If you had only six per conference, maybe last week would have been not as relevant across the board. But, you know, some weeks there's a lot of relevance in the – or some years, excuse me, there's a lot of relevance in the final week, and some years there isn't. It, and, and, and this year it really didn't crystallize until week 17. It wasn't like we saw this coming. It felt for a while like it was all going to come down to 18 for a lot of these questions to be answered. It didn't. The one seeds determined week 17. Could have been week 18. Could have happened. Could have gone that way. You get a couple of games go differently, and it does go that way. Adds more drama to week 18. So it just kind of is what it is, as they say. But adding games wouldn't change that. No. It's not going to make it two, three weeks of irrelevant football. No, Well, uh, all, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it shuck out a little unlucky for us viewers that some of the teams, you know, that are playing each other don't have anything. But still, we're sitting here in week 18, and there's 20 teams viable to make the playoffs, right? I mean, I know some of them are in there. But there's 20 teams so-called in it or alive right now. Uh, how much more do you want? You know, I, I don't understand. Here's the thing I miss. This is the thing I miss, and I think about it the last two years. The, the, and what adds intrigue to this week is that we, we are forgetting how awesome it used to be for the fight for the number two seed because there was a bye week. That was another thing that added a lot of intrigue and interest to this last week of the regular season, right? You'd have fights for that. Kansas City, by all due accounts, would still be available for the two seed this week if they still kept that in a first round bye. Because if if Miami loses to Buffalo, well, maybe they wouldn't be alive. They're Excuse me. Three. Yeah, they lost to Buffalo, in. so they're locked into three. Locked in. All right, so that messed up my point. But either way, I do miss that. Okay, I do miss that fight for the number two and that first round bye, and that usually adds a little more, you know, a game or two of interest too. Uh, to this whole conversation. I didn't know we were going to go there, but oh. I'm, you know, I'm thinking about the NFC oh. and of course that's still available right. too. Right. And Hey, it would have even put more significance onto the fateful two point play that ended the Saturday right. game between yeah. the Lions and the Cowboys, yeah. because it's not just a spot on the playoff tree. It is a buy. At least it used to be a buy. And I'm still not thrilled with only one team getting a buy. I'm not and either. No. I just as soon say let's go eight and eight, but you can't do it with 16 teams in the conference. You can't have half the teams make it. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.